Haruki Murakami spent his elementary through high school years in Kobe. He often talks about his memories of the sea. When I was a child, there were still beaches in Kalroen and Ashia, and I used to go to the sea every day in summer to swim. At dusk in the summer, I would take my dog for a walk on the beach, and lie down on the sand to think. In high school, my girlfriend and I would walk along the beach and talk about many things. We talked about our future, about the books we read, and so on. For me, there was always a connection between life and the sea. Those memories are still with me to this day. The sea where Haruki Murakami spent his youth is being reclaimed one after another. Here is a photo of Ashinya Beach before it was reclaimed. Haruki Murakami was 11 years old in 1960. In 1974, the land reclamation proceeded and the former coastline was lost. Let's look at this part of the beach on a current map. As you can see, the land has now been reclaimed further around. Haruki Murakami wrote about this in the following words. There is a part of me that can't forgive the fact that the sea has been reclaimed. It's not that I can't forgive it, it's that I just can't accept it, and I still wonder if it was necessary to do such a thing. It is quite sad to see the land where I grew up being forcibly reshaped. In the work, the main character returns to his hometown and visits Jay's bar. This new place had big windows facing west and south, out onto the line of hills and the area where the ocean used to be. The ocean front had been filled in a few years back, and the whole mile there was packed with gravestone rows of tall buildings. Used to be water over there, I said. Right, said Jay. Went swimming there a lot. This novel is set in 1978. In the book, it says that the land was reclaimed some years ago. And the photo of the landfill being finished is from 1974. After this, the main character leaves Jay's bar and walks along a nearby river. Where the river met the sea, it turned into an inlet, or rather into a half-filled-in canal. Here was the only untouched stretch of ocean front left, 50 yards of it. 50 yards of sea. The rest was history. The last 50 yards of beach is the mouth of the Ashina River. Here is the original figure. If you look at the map, this is the area. Here is the actual photo. To the north, you can see the Ashina River with its dry water. Let's take a look at the aerial video. The main character visits this beach in the last scene, 